Winning both pistol rounds gives you a 68% chance of winning the game, and only a 23% chance of losing. This is according to a Reddit post by Physicake, Physicake, which documented HLTV's results for big events in 2016. This begs the question, are pistol rounds too important? And what can be done about them? The reason that winning the pistol round makes such an impact is because it isn't just about the pistol round. Winning it puts you in a strong economic position for the next, while the enemy team has to make do with far less. Statistically, this greatly improves your chances of winning both the second and third rounds as well. Do this twice in a game and you've effectively got six rounds in the bag and less than a 25% chance of losing the game as a whole. A pretty big advantage to be had from what is effectively two rounds of work. When you think about it, is it any wonder that the team that wins both pistol rounds is also more likely to win the game? The better team is more likely to win both pistol rounds, more often than not, as well as the game in full. Valve actually responded to the Reddit post with statistics from 2 million recent competitive matches. They reached an almost identical outcome to the original graph. And although you might think that pistol rounds are the most random bits of the game, I do too, Valve's results stated otherwise. They found that the outcome of the pistol rounds was no more random than any other bit of the match. You hear that, people? Being better at pistol rounds might simply mean that your team is better. And we've seen in recent updates that Valve are keen to rebalance the pistols. The clock has been adjusted, which will greatly affect the pistol rounds. I don't know if it's for better or for worse right now, since trying to improve CSGO's balance at this stage is a very difficult task. Every change will have unforeseen consequences, apart from Valve's accidental recent changes to the Galil for mass and tagging, which embarrassingly were not noticed for a while until discovered within the game's files by Steveven3 and Sloth Squadron. But you get the idea. You make one weapon more powerful, and this indirectly changes the balance of the other weapons in the game. The meta eventually changes because of it, and so on. But say we decide that pistol rounds are too important. They might be no more random than any other round, but why should their results directly doom players for the next two rounds as well? Maybe the solution doesn't lie with the pistol rounds themselves, but with those next two rounds and the options the losing team has. On one hand, you want to reward the winner of the pistol round, but on the other, you don't want to punish the losing side too much. They're already a round down. That's bad enough. I believe the old solution when the first round was lost was to buy the Tech 9 and to rush B, which gave forcing teams a high chance of landing a fluky win. Valve nerfed this long ago, but perhaps these recent adjustments, which have involved stat or price changes to almost every pistol in the game, were less about pistol round balance and more to do with the second and third rounds, as well as any other force buy situations. We could also reduce the importance of winning the pistol round by giving losing teams a decent third round buy option. Falling into this category would be the SMGs, FAMAS and Galil. You could improve their stats or lower their price. Or you could make them more obtainable by adjusting the kill and end of round bonuses. There are many ways in which you could make a third round buy more feasible, which would lower the pistol round's consequences from 6 down to just 4 of the game's rounds. As sad as it is that I have to mention this, an argument for reducing the importance of pistol round wins would be cheaters. They can tip the balance of the match in their favour simply by having cheats enabled only for pistol rounds, especially since nobody will be wearing helmets. They'd also appear innocent in the majority of Overwatch cases, which don't extend long enough to include both pistol rounds in a single viewing. On the plus side, as Valve says, teams who win the pistol rounds are generally better in the rest of the rounds as well, which wouldn't happen if cheats were being toggled, so hopefully this kind of cheating is rare. Regardless, we can nerf it by lessening the importance of winning pistol rounds. To get the same level of advantage, they'd then have to cheat for more rounds, which would make their cheating more obvious. Or, alternatively, we leave things as they are. Maybe we're trying to find a solution that isn't needed, changing things for change's sake. If Valve's stats are to be believed, and pistol rounds are no more random than any other, then why does it matter if it affects the next two rounds as well? Sure, 68% of double pistol wins result in victory, but does that perhaps make the 23% of losses all the more valuable to experience and to spectate? Perhaps clawing back victory in the second or third rounds, against all odds, makes the counter-track experience more enthralling than one where the tide changes every round for balance's sake. I don't think I have the answers to this, though I'm sure the comments section of this video will, so I suggest you look there instead.